um, to welcome. I am uh, new to Minecraft. Uh, I, I've played it now for about a week or so, and right now I'm 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 ready to do something a bit more special, something a bit more different. So I thought to myself, what I'll do is give you a little grand tour of what I've done so far. I haven't done much. I've got full diamond equipment to a point. Uh, I've got a mine down to minus 62, which is the bed down to virtually bedrock, which it is. Does a bit of farming, bits and bobs. I thought, now what do I need to do? Well, I do need a more permanent position, more more of a decent home. So that's what I choose to do. Um, thereafter, I'm going to try and build a fortress. Now, do I do it in this world? Do I do it in another world? Do I just start a new world? So that's what I've chose to do. Um, I'm giving you a little grand tour here of my first ever plot. Uh, well, it's actually my third plot. I ended up making stupid mistakes and deleting worlds. But as you can see, I'm, I'm sort of set up in this world. I can carry on doing bits here, bits there, going on little ventures. But that's my f first base. Well, 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 I call my first base anyway. There's some uh, sugar canes. They're going great. Uh, and then I, I sort of saw this water coming from the top of this mountain. I thought, I wonder if I can go behind it, behind this mountain. And get some sort of hideaway so if they if they could you know the, the mobs can't actually spawn outside my front door that would be great so I'm going to use that technique after so the, the, I got bored one day I did this and I, start, I started a mine I'm going uh, down in a left right left right and down left right down approach and that's what I'm going to do with this and eventually go deeper uh, for diamonds, so I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping to try and keep my mining, my farming, and everything else I'm going to be doing within Minecraft separate to other places. But either way, this is a, this is a quick tour. If it was dark outside and I couldn't get back to main base, I could sleep there. I'm safe. It's on normal mode, so the zombies can't break down my door. I could perhaps get the odd spider. I've never got. That was close. Uh, as, you, as you can see, I aren't really used to this, the ladders. I don't like ladders. For some reason, I don't like it. Either way, you can just see in the distance a little cross on this side. That's what I'm going to be doing when it comes to uh, like identifying where I am in the world. Well, in my little section, anyway. I've done maps. <laughs> they don't work so much. They don't, they, don't, they don't do so much. So you have to sort of find ways of uh, linking to stuff. I've done another beacon to your left, as you can see, and then another beacon to the right. So I've got three beacons, two big beacons, and a cross in the middle. Uh, I call it a cross, more like a T, isn't it? More like a T. So there's my cross. There's my first beacon, which says that's where main base is, and then my second beacon, that's my fishy nut. <coughs> All this was landscape, just green fields like this, but then I put trees in. That was all green fields right up to the water. So then I started cutting a few trees down, planting a few, and before you know about it, I've got a massive forest growing. And when I've cut them down, I'm going to have even more. Uh, trees and forests and jungles so here I've got some sugar grass growing on the edge of the, this massive water well it's the ocean really isn't it so I've got this ocean the sun's about to come down so it must be sleepy time uh, I've got beehives and all kinds I've got uh, one two three four five different types of tree I think so I've got uh, cocoa beans, I've got, uh, as you can see, all this was just fields. I've got three three full trees of cocoa beans on jungle wood, uh, jungle saplings. Uh, I've got another tree here. I've got, ch as you can see, chickens. I'll show you there in a minute. 
You can see I've got bamboo there and it, it'll glimpse. This is what we call, what I call the fishing hut. I'll give you a tour of that in a minute. I did say I was going to give you a tour later on, but you can see I've got all the bits here. A free. I've got a smithing table for free off a villager. I've got a uh, brewing stand off a villager for free. I've got a, a fire pit so I can cook all my meats for free of charge. I've got storage devices. I've got uh, a little trap door which I'm using as a as a way to the roof. So I can take a look. Uh, no, I'll do that later. I'll do. I'll give you the tour later. Uh, so let me show you bamboo, bamboo everywhere. What well, always a bit keen as you come out the first in the f just you know first light in the morning. There's always creepers about. So over here I've got my chickens. Plenty of room for them to move around. Give them a little water feature. Pigs, they look like they're ready for a call. Maybe a bit more room. Cows, they need to be more bed more. So I need to sort of because I need leather. I need paper from the sugar canes. And I need and there's some berries. Cactuses. Look at me, bam, boom. Boom. I haven't got to worry about fuel. Not really. More berries. More sugar canes. More cactuses. I don't know what you're gonna use cactus for yet. I keep I keep growing them. Uh, more, more uh, sugar canes because you never, you can never, you can never have enough sugar canes. More bamboo, and then just at the end, on this sand beach, I've got myself a cacti, little cacti, cactuary, I call it. So let me take you back to uh, the fishing hut's little farm, and the reason why I definitely need to do something with that bamboo. Well, I'm going to build uh, scaffolding with that, so I need some string. Anyway, I've got carrots for the pigs, and the other patch is mainly wheat. The wheat for the cat for the cows, and any leftover seeds they go to the chickens. I've got pumpkins so that I can make pumpkin pie. Um, I've also got over here a few melons popping through, and one final. Uh, run of wheat. So as you can see uh, this is looking good. I've got a massive forest as you can see. Uh, I've got to put a fire under him. Uh, let me jump up here and show you. I've got acacia trees. I've got uh, oak. I, I've got, but I have got white birch or birch tree. I want to do more, I need to grow more birch trees and more jungle trees, so I like, I like the, their wood. Uh, but bir I like birch, my favourite tree out of the whole of them is birch because they go straight up, so there you go. So I'm just taking you on the outskirts of my farm, oh, big hole here, oh lad, come on boys, don't burn, I'm going to have to investigate this. I wonder what this is. This is that um, abandoned tunnel I made to try and make the tunnel. I'll show you that tunnel now. I'll have to investigate this. Too hot for you boys? Oh. What have we got in here? Oh. Oh, like that. Is it too hot for you? Oh, can't get to me. Ah well. Let me take out that guy. Let's find him. Don't die now, will you? Ah well. Maybe one more, eh? That's better. Free meat? I won't say this is some free meat. I think I might leave that for later. Yeah, I might leave that. But it's all ready to go now. Let me fill this gap in. I don't like holes in, uh, anywhere, so that's good. I think I should step out. 
I think a creeper might have been along here. They've definitely been there. Creeper has definitely been there. Anyway, let me show you the ins a proper insides of the uh, fishy nut. As you can see, we got the fishy nut amongst all the trees. I do a, I do a tree call, and uh, I cut about 20-30 trees down if I'm lucky in in one Minecraft day. And it, it's a bit loud, down it? Uh, and I end up with about 90 saplings. Bloody! Where can I put them? So you just plant them. Really. This is the trap door. As you can see, I come out. I can take a look around to see how many creepers about. Yeah. There's my livestock. I can see the water, bamboo, all my trees. You can actually, you can actually. Uh, the idea there was to go out of the climb this. The reason why I grew that tree there is hopefully for that reason that you can jump on it and then go over onto the top of the trees in safety and get away from the creepers so they don't actually activate. But anyway, let me just, uh, oh, I forgot to close that. Um, let me show you my tunnel system. This takes me all the way from my fishing hut to my first base without even doing a not major jumping anyway. Here's that mine that opened to a massive drop. I thought, hmm, give that a big wide wave then. I'm going to mess about with that yet. Oh, it's strong enough. So, I decided to uh, dig somewhere else and hopefully go round it. Turns out you, I didn't. I didn't go round. I actually went into it, but not this one. This this just goes to a dead end. It goes to a, like a drop off point to to darkness. I thought, oh no, I don't like that one. As you'll see here, it comes to a dead end. That I put those four um, candles there, saying danger. And I think with two candles side by side, like those two there or three, two to three to four. In a, in a concession says danger. That's my little system. So I need to go uh, back. Yeah, there was a. I need to invest. I need to fill that up and do stuff with that. Let me show you this way. Uh, hang on. This is the bottom of the cave now, so that now inside here I own this cave to a point, but the other side of that cave is basically uh, a wizard. There's two endermen. There's uh, it's just chocker full of baddies, so I need to go in there stronger and get rid of them. Oh, wrong way. It's because I'm giving you a grand tour. The objective here is a test, test, test the sound and see what it will look like and feel like afterwards. There, there being, thereafter, um, I intend to bring it to end it. But let's see what my voice is. I'm just doing it nice and quietly. I aren't overdoing the sound. It's getting late, so I'm just sort of not talking very loud. Here's my first base, as you saw before. This is uh, where I do all my f main farming and fill up my boxes. And I do fill my boxes up. I've got, uh, yeah, this is the, the outside of that door that leads me straight to the fishing hut via the tunnel. Very nice, eh? Once so I've got to go from that door to main camp, to main door camp, I can see me spire to the fishing hut, the cross in the centre, giving you distance, uh, a viewpoint for distance. And uh, yeah, this is the straight to this door, from door to door. Should make that in, say, in re re relatively in safety, you would have thought. Um, I've got a fire pit, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I made a fire pit. 
can't do anything a lava pitch let's say not a fire pit an endless supply of water I made this to keep something in it but I don't know looks a bit nasty doesn't it anyway uh, more berries on the mountain to protect my roof part so they can't get in there I've got tr these all these trees weren't there until I planted them I've had it, I've had it cut, cut down uh, my sheep I should actually move move my sheep to the other place but I'm happy putting my sheep there and yeah this mine goes to minus 62 and yeah it's it takes some doing to find your feet and I think I'm ready to take it to the next level which is the fortress so hopefully when I build the fortress you'll be there for part one and probably two or three episodes called the foundation so thank you and bye